Did I mention that they, uh, they package these things really well? <laughs> uh, okay, let's cut to the chase here. Right, okay, that's got it up. Sometimes you gotta... Okay, so here's the uh, pick quick, and it actually has a nut driver right on the end. Which unfortunately doesn't seem to be able to reach the, the nut. So I'm afraid I'm out of luck. This bolt is too long. I'm going to have to use a wrench to get that open. So that will have to become part two. So uh, I've got this loose, and I'm going to lay this out now like this. Like they say we should. And I'm going to unmount the camera from the tripod here and move it up so you can have a better look inside as to where we're at. Okay, all right, here we go. So here is our grounding lug, and it goes into this. And again, my nut driver wasn't long enough, but that's okay. I've got others, and I also have a, a wrench. And here are the panels. And here are the ubiquitous and much maligned ribbon connectors and they look pretty good actually um, how about over here you know cheap guys that that looks really good oh look at that did you hear that look at that crack Right in half. Well, if we didn't need to replace this before, we do now. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about, and that's what Paul's been talking about, and everyone else has been talking about, is this kind of a thing. And as you can see, it's really, really flimsy. We'll do some comparisons between the two materials. And, uh, oh, and look. Look at this. See the plastic backing? It's completely delaminated from this. No wonder. No wonder. It, it, well, it... Maybe this isn't a plastic bag. Maybe this is a pole, a pole shield or something. I'm not sure. Either way, it doesn't look so good. All right. Um, ah. VCOs. Mm, okay. Uh, power supply seems to be uh, dusty, but serviceable. That's a huge transformer. Oh, and look at that. There we have our... 1980s batteries, friends. The 1980s batteries still in service. Now, you probably might laugh. I mean, we put a coin cell in a Juno 106 to keep the memories, but here we've got uh, these two Mega D cells doing it in the Polaris. And, uh, hey, well, it's definitely held held up. As you saw, it still has all the memory. And, uh, oh, this says Polaris Rev 9 on these chips. See that? I'll have to have a look and see about what the, the firmware levels are. Um, okay, alright, well that ends part number one. We're now going to uh, get that nut driver dealt with uh, because that's part of the next step and uh, we'll continue from there.